can characterize habits in terms of three R's. Routines, reminders and rewards. The routines, so the habits themselves, and the, the change of behaviors, uh, social practices if you want. We're just doing it on the fly and what that means is there is a trigger somewhere that starts our habit. It can, it can be for instance the time, so 8 o'clock you walk out of the house and you go to the bus stop. Um, these cues are very important because these cues are sort of the, the starting points of our habits. I just got up so I decided to have a quick look what the headlines are on the online app. Starts off having a cup of tea, come downstairs, have a cup of tea, feed the cat, um, generally take the wife a cup of tea, or she might be up anyway, um, and then I'll, I'll drink my tea, sit down at the computer, call up the newspapers and just start having a quick look. Just when I commute to work or if I've got, like I'm at my lunch break and I want something to read, then this has been easy to, to kind of just go through and, and use basically. As soon as I come off the train after work, I always go and purchase my newsbound, which is a telegraph from the news agent before I go to my car. It's almost like a routine now, isn't it? Yeah. It just goes emails, Facebook, the news. We have the reminders, the cues that trigger habits. The cues are empowered, actually, with guiding our behaviours, our habits. Obviously, major events are good, like the election, etc. But if there's transfer cycles going on between clubs, then you sort of track its progress every day. Because they kind of give you snapshot stories, they don't tell you the whole thing, and you kind of think, oh, I want to know more about that, or I don't really understand that. So I usually, if I'm going to go somewhere, I'll go to the Guardian first. If I see something interesting, and there's an interesting headline, I feel like something I should know about, I will come back and, yeah. uh, and look at it. In, in more detail online. I heard a bit on the news in the radio about that little girl who went missing. So I thought I'd have a look in the newspaper, see if there was anything on it. I heard, I heard a headline on the news that was on the radio um, about, an, about a deal that Everton had made with a player and I wanted to check it out. So I went online on my phone to have a look. And we have to reward things that habits do for us, what we get out of habits. Think about reading the news. It can also be that you read things because you have something to say to people. You you got got something interesting to say or something funny to say. Uh, I'd say there's a, an element of like a first knowledge to, to know what's going on. And it's stuff I can go into work and talk about as well. Like, oh, have you heard about this and stuff. I think it gives you a little bit of you time because you, it's generally quiet time. You're not going to read a newspaper when you're in a rush. Um, it's just that hour or so that you're flicking through and you're getting information and kind of educating yourself um, on the world a little bit. You can sit in like the conservatory or something on a nice day and read it. You don't feel like you've you know, been pulled away from the world. The benefit is that it ends my day, I think, in a relaxing way. Reading a paper when I get home on the sofa really leaves stress, tension that I've had at work.